Welcome to another ABC Grab and Go On Demand webcast. So let's talk about how the digital dash works because this is completely new for us on the 2020 coach. So let me show you some of the things that we do have to offer and some of the new things that we didn't have on the DMOX. So let's talk about our digital dash. The biggest thing that you're going to notice when you're at the digital dash is all of our gauges are now digital. There's none of the analog that we had with the DMOX. So the first gauge you're gonna to come to here to your left is gonna be your speedometer. Now right below the speedometer is gonna be your fuel gauge. Now if you look at the fuel gauge, there is a small arrow there at the top. That's where it's gonna register how much fuel is in the tank. And we're gonna use that for all your metering side. Now if you go to the right of that will be your DEF tank level, which the same thing, you'll have that little arrow to tell you how much DEF is in there. Now in the center of the dash will be your information screen. This will tell you if there's anything going on with your coach, whether you have a door open or if you have an AC concern. To the right of that is going to be your RPM gauge. And then dead center of the RPM gauge is going to be where we register and show you your tank pressure for your brakes. So if we do have an issue with that, that will actually show you the pressure of that and it will let you know if there's a warning with a sensor or with a tank that's gone low. Underneath there, you're going to have your coolant temperature. You'll also have your oil pressure. Now, when I want to get into anything on the dash, we're going to have to use the buttons underneath the dash, kind of similar to what we did with the DMUX, just in a little different order. So if you look at the bottom, you do have a wrench icon. So you're going to push that button right underneath the wrench icon, and you're going to hold it down until the message bar goes all the way across, and that'll let you into your back screens. So once it's come across, the first screens you're going to get is going to be settings, information, and diagnostics. So to select any of these, you do have an enter key here at the bottom. If you want to change those, you have the two arrows on the left and right of the buttons. So let's go ahead and select settings. So when you're in the settings, you can adjust your language preferences, whether you want English, French, or Spanish, which will put the whole, whole coach into that language. You also have your ISO units. So if you scroll down to ISO, this is where I can change your temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius, your distance from miles into kilometers, and so on. So to get out of any of these screens, you're going to hit escape. And let's go to the display settings. Display settings is where I can control what I want the dash to do as far as background lighting and the little clicks that you hear when I push the buttons. So if I wanted to take the lighting down or dim it down, I could do it through here. Or if I wanted to turn the sound off or when I push the buttons, I could also do it from here. So we're going to go ahead and hit escape again. And we're going to hit it twice so we can go back to that main menu. And let's go down to information. So we push the down arrow and the enter key. And this is where it gives me vehicle information and software version. So vehicle information is going to tell you this is a CX coach and it's from 2020. And software version is going to show for us what programs actually put inside the system. So let's hit escape again to go back to the main menu and go down to diagnostics. When you get to diagnostics, the first thing you're going to have is ECU diagnostic messages. So let's go ahead and select it. When you get in here, you have a couple different windows that you can access. First one's going to be engine one or engine two, which would give you any engine codes if there was something going on with the coach. You also have the ability to pull out transmission codes, either from the transmission or from the shift selector. If you scroll down, you also have your brake system controller, your retarder, and also your MVP. MVP is what we call our dash now. So if there was any kind of codes or any kind of faults there, I could pull those codes through there. We still have the MUX, which would be your Kiva side of the system, which controls lights, pressure switches, and things like that. I can pull codes from there too to let me know if there's something going on. We'll go ahead and hit escape to get out of there. And then let's go down to technical menu. So technical menu is gonna give you a couple different things. So engine will show you your uh, position of your throttle pedal. It'll also give you what your boost pressure is, kind of like we did with the other coaches. You also have your brakes, which will show you your tanks and your brake wear sensors, your gearbox temperatures, and then HVAC. So we're going to scroll down to the HVAC side of the system because we did add something new there. So for years since I've been with ABC, customers have always asked, can we have the pressure show for the AC system? Well, we do. We finally, on 2020, we went ahead and made that an option. So now you can come in here and you can see what the pressures are at real time for your AC system. All right, we're gonna hit escape from there and we're gonna go back. And then we're gonna go down to bus stop. So bus stop is gonna show you your doors on the coach. So on this coach particular, the only doors we have is the entrance door and the wheelchair door. 
Right now, looking at the screen, it shows my wheelchair door is closed and my first entrance door is open. Now for an option through ABC, if you choose, you can have two entrance doors, which we'd have that program into the system too to let you know if one was open or if they were both closed. So let's go ahead and escape and back out. And let's go down to TPMS. TPMS is gonna be your tire pressure monitoring system or your smart tire. So we've always had the gauge that showed you on the dash if you had a tire temperature or pressure concern. Now we'll actually put that up on the digital dash to tell you what tire and what axle with the picture of the coach. And let's hit escape to get out of there. Interior temperature is gonna let me adjust the temperature. Now we can still adjust temperature from the switch on the dash. But if I'm doing any kind of diagnostic work or troubleshooting the system, I could go through the dash so I can see if it actually works. We have climate control override, which will let me override either the heating or the AC system to force it either heating on or to force the AC on. You also have your lighting override, which is good for drivers when we're doing pre-trip inspections because I can force all the outside lights on the coach, do a quick walk around, make sure all my lights work, or I can force all the inside lights on the coach so I can make sure everything on the inside works. And we'll hit escape to back out. And then we have our simulation override. Simulation override is gonna give me the option to tell the coach that the engine's running even though the bus is off, or I can trick the system and show that we're moving at three kilometers an hour. Now to get out of the screen, you're just gonna hit escape, which will take me back to the main menu. If I'm done with everything for what I wanted to see, hit escape again, and it'll put the screen back to normal. Now with the MVP or the new digital dash, you can get into any of these screens that you would like to see, but during operation or movement of the vehicle, you won't have access to those screens. You'd have to come to a stop to actually use it. So that takes you through all the features on the digital dash. I hope that helped out to get into some of the back screens on the digital dash, especially for the diagnostics. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us here at ABC. And this concludes another ABC Grab and Go On Demand webcast. For questions regarding this webcast, please contact ABC's Technical Service Department at 877-427-427. 7278. Listen for the prompts for coach technical support and select the appropriate option. Support is available at this number 24 7.